Edward Mybridge was a landscape, urban and travel photographer. He was commissioned by Leland Stanford, an entrepreneur and horse breeder, to devise ways of using the camera to analyse the movement of horses scientifically. In 1878, Mybridge published his first series of sequence photographs taken at Stanford's Palo Alto farm in California. Mybridge shot many sequences of animals and humans using his innovative motion photography process. He became well known for his work, but the movement portrayed was so new to his audience that not everybody believed his pictures were true. To help demonstrate his photographic findings during his lectures, Mybridge invented the zoopraxis scope. This projected his images in sequence and gave them the illusion of movement. However, to prepare the photographs for projection, Mybridge needed to transfer them to a glass disc. And this was no easy process, because the projector had a limitation. If Mybridge used it to project the images onto the screen without treating them first, the image would look squashed up and distorted. Mybridge had to counter this effect by re-photographing them at an angle to make them appear wider and bending the photographs in the opposite direction to the distortion caused by the circular disc. The re-photographed prints were laid out in a circle to create a paper guide disc. A specialist artist then copied the images painstakingly onto a 16-inch glass disc using paint. The zoopraxiscope discs were a great success helping Mybridge prove the accuracy of his photography and leading to a contract at the University of Pennsylvania where he took many thousands of sequence photographs. As time went on, more detail went into the projected images, often with several different sequences on the same disc. This process of combining figures would not have been possible had the original photographs been used and gave Mybridge great freedom in creating imaginative scenes with many moving figures. For his appearance at the 1893 World's Fair in Chicago, which showcased many new inventions and popular trends, Mybridge also created new discs in colour. These were made in a similar way up to a point. But when the photographic montage was complete on paper, the process changed. Instead of copying it directly onto glass, the artist made a paper drawing of the sequence. This was signed by Mybridge and photographed. A large glass negative was produced, and then a large glass positive which the artist, Erwin Faber, would enrich with vivid colour. And the finished disc was cut out of the glass sheet, ready for projection. It was the silhouette discs that were used for most of Mybridge's lectures, even though the later discs were more colourful. But with the emergence of cinema, these discs remained almost unknown, signalling the end of Mybridge's extraordinary experiments with making images move. Nonetheless, they are truly beautiful objects to see in motion today.